Hello everyone! In this video we will learn how to recover lost data in Git. If you're new to Git, better check my previous video about Git uh, basics to learn the basics command uh, for Git. I will leave a link above. But if you're familiar with Git, I am sure that there was a situation when you needed to restore some deleted commits or some data that has been uh, deleted uh, before. So I will teach you in this video how to do that. Uh, so let me show it with an example. We will start with the deleted uh, commit. So I have uh, some projects here already prepared with a few commits. So let's check the logs. If you see, there is uh, like a few commits already uh, here that I made some time uh, before. Uh, and now I will delete uh, two previous commits and then I will try to restart them. So uh, how I will delete them, I will use the rebase uh, tool for that. Uh, for more operations and explanation how this rebase tool uh, work, you can check my previous video with the uh, seven ways to change a git history. Uh, link is also above. So let me just do and delete last two, last, uh, two commits. So this one and this one. So how to do that? I will just use git rebase as I had and I will return to the three commits. And I want to delete uh, this one and this one. So hello to hi, hello world, and edit the right function. So let me just do it. To delete, I can just write instead of pick, drop, or I can just remove them uh, from the script at all. So I will write drop, so we will see which commits I deleted. So let me just save it. So now if we will check the logs, we successfully uh, deleted them. So there is no more uh, these commits. So the question is how to uh, return them now. Uh, we need to find the SSA one, which is this part of the commits that we want to return. But uh, the trick is how to find uh, this. It's not that we memorized it. It's kind of a long thing to memorize for each of the commits. So for that, we can use a git uh, ref log command. So as we work in git silently records what our head is every time we change it. So each time we commit or change branches, the ref log is updated. So if we will check uh, it now, you will see that the head has been changed with our rebase and etc. Uh, but there is not much information and understanding here. So uh, to have more detailed information, we can use a different command git log minus g, and we will uh, we can find our uh, deleted commits here. So we deleted this one, change hello world, and we deleted uh, change hi to hello. Uh, yeah, this one. So how to return it? Let's return this one. We need to copy this as a sheet one of the commit. And then we will create a separate branch with uh, this commit. To do that, we will write git branch. We will name it as the recover branch, for example, and then leave the uh, SSA one of the commit. So if we will check out to this branch, uh, recover branch, and then we will check the log. We will see that our commit is here. So how to return it back to master? We need to check out to master. Uh, probably main here. It's not the master, it's main. So uh, let's then merge it. Git merge and recover branch. So you see that uh, we just merge it and it's fast forwarded. Uh, you can also check more details about what is merge in my another video as well. Uh, here is the link. Uh, and let me just check the logs now. And you see that we returned our commit and all of the information that has been in this uh, commit. So we successfully have it. Uh, the other one we just leave deleted as we, we don't need it. We need it to, to return just uh, this one. So it's the, the way how to return commits. Let me 
delete this recover branch because it's a good way to delete the branch after you merge it. So we will use git branch minus D and then recover branch. And now I have uh, deleted it. But if for some reason you can add your commits in ref log or uh, you can add your commits in uh, this git log command, you can use different command which is git uh, fs ck and then full and uh, the one that is then link uh, mentioned here is the one that has been uh, deleted so uh, the next uh, thing that we will learn is how to return the deleted files and uh, we will uh, review a few situations so the first one if you just deleted a file uh, but we did not commit your changes yet so let me just do that i will delete this new feature file uh, it's not here anymore. I will check git uh, status. And I will see that the changes to be uh, committed uh, this file. We can restore it uh, like uh, here, just using the restored uh, stage and it will return our file. So we will uh, do it. Git helping us out uh, with that. So, and the file name is new teacher i and if we will run the git status we will see that the changes is not staged anymore and we can just restore uh, our file git restore and the file name new teacher i so if we will go back here we will see that our um, file is back but what if we committed our changes so let's just delete the file again and then run the git status we see that the changes uh, has to be committed and let's just uh, commit them git commit b minus l deleted So we just uh, committed the changes. The file is not here anymore. As you can see, if we will run the git status, we will see that there is nothing to commit. Our tree is clean, but then we needed uh, to return uh, our file back. But let's make the situation even more uh, harder. Let's just commit something else after we deleted the file and then try to restore it. So I will just do some changes here some spaces and I will just uh, uh, commit it. So give commit minus a minus a is because I want to stage and modify the changes uh, commit and stage the changes at the same time. Then minus m for message just changed name and uh, that's all. So now I want to restore a file that I deleted few commits back. So how can I do that? Uh, it's easy uh, so what we need to do we need to first let to see where our file still was done so we deleted it in this commit it's mean that in this commit it was still there so what can we do we can use the next command git check out then sf shade that i just copied from this commit where the file still existed space and then the name of the file so we need that we know that it's a new feature file uh, the file that we want to return so if we will do it we will see that our file is returned so now we just need to commit the changes and have the file back uh, so this is the easy way how you can return your deleted uh, files uh, so this is all for today. I hope this video has been useful for you and now you know how to recover uh, your data. You, you will not be freaking out whenever you will need to do that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Well, please leave your reaction and, and subscribe to my channel for more videos uh, like this and also for uh, Python tutorials that I just started to make. Uh, so thanks uh, for watching and remember knowledge is our superpower.